I'm Jen Campbell. This is Art About, and I'm here with Cosmic Rush of the North Shore, of course. And I want to throw it to the band, but what I'd like to do first is just get your name and your instrument or what you do in the bands. Start at the very end. Of course. Uh, my name is Aaron Gearsis. I play electric guitar. My name is Nick Tambini. Uh, I sing vocals. My name's Angelo Meda. I play the drums. Hi, I'm Andrew. I play bass, guitar, and backup vocals. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. So I have, I have a, a lot of questions that I, I usually will say, but you guys sent me such great questions that I'm going to actually use a lot of those. So um, I'm going to start at the end. Um, who would you like to open for? That's a tough question. Um, I mean, if Jimi Hendrix was alive, you know, just uh, that would be amazing. Uh, I think Pink Floyd will be super cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. We uh, saw, my husband and I, we saw the um, Australia oh, version of Pink Floyd. And it, was, it was amazing. Yeah. 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 Um, anybody else have anybody that they would want to uh, open for? I mean, I'd love to open with the Chili Peppers. Ah. I love the Chili Peppers. Yeah. That'd be I, knew that cool. was coming. Yep. I get a lot of influence of the Chili Peppers in, in your music. I was That was the first name that came to my mind when I was listening to your music. Whenever I have a band on, I study their music for, for months before the, the show. And I was like, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, I, I'm going to throw this question to Andrew. Um, What's your favorite moment at a gig? Favorite moment at a gig? There's so many of them. Uh, it's tough. I think we had recently we had a gig in Gloucester at Drift, and um, we've been playing uh, "Can't Take My Eyes Off You," more of a rock version. And um, this elderly lady, you know, started dancing, and uh, one of, one of our family friends who's uh, a little younger than her, but a big guy, and it started dancing with her, and, and it got the crowd going. It was a lot of fun. So. Most recently, it's probably one of my best memories. Yeah. That's a great memory. Does anybody else have any? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, we <clears throat> we played at Porch Fest in Somerville, down in Somerville uh, this year, uh, this this what spring summer, um, and I just remember the crowd out there. There were probably there were over a hundred people out there. It was just a massive sea of people. Yeah. And uh, before we wrapped up, we were saying, you know, thank you, have a good night, blah blah blah. And I said, just one more time, just make some noise and. It's just that massive roar was amazing. So much fun. From that show, I'll never forget we're playing, and then there's a there, and there's a sea of people, and then I just see a fire truck trying to get through, and they're blaring oh its horn. Like, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome.
another great question that you guys had was, what's a dream venue? Can I get that from uh, you, Angelo? Dream venue. Um, maybe House of Blues. I was there this past Friday. I saw Marcus King Band. Um, MGM, um, just across the street, would be another dream venue. Yeah. Um, of course, Fenway Park would be cool. But I would say those three. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Does anybody else have a, a dream venue that you would like to... Uh... Actually, while we're in Beverly, a uh, cabot will be pretty cool, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, but and as as Angelo says, yeah, TD Garden. I think we can't yeah. we can't <laughs> deny a that. So, <laughs> <you know? laughs> That's funny. Um, you guys are from the North Shore, and um, sometimes I'm interested in the influence that the North Shore will have on a band. Are there any stories, particularly to the North Shore, or uh, times that you were in the North Shore that the North Shore influenced your music? I mean, we wouldn't have the band without the North Shore. Okay. You know, we all, we all kind of grew up on the North Shore. We all, uh, the, we, some of our, our origins were in a studio in Peabody. Um, what, so, what studio? Uh, Excel Music Studio. It's not, uh, not there anymore. Not, not around there anymore, anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, no. But so, the owner of the studio, but, Chris Kersker, brought us all together. He actually lives in Beverly as well, and he kind of made the connections for us, and, and that's kind of where it, where, it, where it started. And the way, actually, I found Chris's studio, uh, my wife, Sophie, uh, uh, she saw on local Beverly um, newspaper that there was a jam session at that studio, and she was like, you got to go. Just get your guitar, just go and meet you know musicians. So... And uh, yeah, that was that was it for me. So then I met these guys, and yeah. Yeah, I was taking keyboard lessons from um, from Chris, and that's how he connected me to Aaron. And um, Chris and Andrew have known each other for a long and time. Chris said, "Hey, these guys need a bass player," and then we started playing. And we're like, "We really need a singer." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "I know Nick Tambini from uh, Bishop Fenwick High School. Let me give him a buzz." That's right. And the rest is history. The rest is history. Here we yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah.
One thing that I like to understand is uh, if you were to talk to a young musician or somebody who's just starting a band, what, what advice would you give, give them? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Yes. Talk more about that. Yeah, we were, we were talking about this. I think that was one of your questions that you uh, prompted us to answer and we were talking and like thinking back on, on our journey, like what, what would we do differently? It's like, you just probably got to be confident with yourself. You know, don't be scared to mess up. Don't be scared to play in front of people and yeah. just do it. You know, just not to rip off the Nike slogan, but uh, <laughs> it's, just do it's it. true. You know, you, you gotta, you can't be scared to, to get out of your comfort zone and play music with with the guys you love for in front of people who are loving your music and it can be intimidating sometimes but just don't be scared don't be scared Go for find it. people to play with as soon as possible find people yeah. to play with yeah I love which that. is hard to do but you know don't stop doing trying and play in front of people you know, so. yeah definitely play in front of people that experience is so so valuable even you know everything that you do musically good and bad will all make you a better musician no matter what so um so definitely don't be, yeah, don't be scared. Don't be afraid to mess up. Don't be afraid to play a song that you think might not hit very well and then it ends up hitting, which is a few songs that I'm generally the one that says, guys, come on, we can't play that. And then they're like, no, Nick, we have to play it. Let's just play it just once. If it, if it absolutely, you know, fails, then we'll, we'll, we'll play it again or we'll, we will, you know, mix it up or whatever. And then it hits every time. These guys know what they're talking about. But so, yeah, don't be scared. I'm still learning that. <laughs> what, what does it mean hits like it's a it's a hit great crowd you... reaction great okay. yeah. yeah yeah that's awesome i think aaron's been curating a, a set list for young musicians to listen to um almost 24 7 to get them in the in the right mindset <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I guess also i gotta say like it's a teamwork team effort you know it's uh, we are like four people and we are a team so it's important to acknowledge that and you know be a good team player so a good team player what does that mean to you, a good team player? Uh, a listening, first of all, to your bandmates, you know. Yeah. So, and um, and look for their comfort, you know, while we playing on the stage or even in the studio. Just, um, it's important to feel comfortable with your bandmates. Um, but yeah, so that's what I can think of. That's great.
right? Yeah, definitely have fun too. And that's, have fun. That's why we're doing all of this, you know? Yeah. It, it, if you start to take it too seriously, it can become kind of a burden. You have to just, you have to, you know, be loose. Remember why you're doing it. It's all just for fun and for the love of music. Right, right. I love that. Um, where where can we find you online? What's your online presence? Andrew, you want to take this one? You usually do. Yeah, so uh, we're on social media. We're on streaming platforms. Uh, we're probably most active on Instagram. So uh, at Cosmic Rush Official. Uh, we usually post at the same time for Facebook too. Uh, we have an email list for people who don't use social media. Um, Spotify, YouTube, or Apple Music. We're on YouTube. Love so it. I was yeah. able to get that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm more of a Spotify person myself, yeah. but um, we're on both. Uh, I was what at I... the gym, like on the treadmill, oh, nice. you know, nice. like nice. Cosmic Rush. Yeah. We haven't gotten to OnlyFans go. yet, but we're still <laughs> considering it. So, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, um, Cosmic Rush, every show, I cap it with a poem and I write it during the show. So, this, this is your poem, and I, I uh, sign it, and I date it, so uh, this is going to be your poem. Um, it's entitled, Band Play. Rolling in, coming together, on an autumn day, at the end of the day, full of songs, capping an evening, taking it to the road, we are friends, we are bandmates, making music soul to soul. That's Love it. it. Love it. And awesome. you can, well done. You really can put it on your awesome. wall or you can Thanks. put it on your... Thank you so Going much. In. Love that. Thanks. That's definitely going on, on the wall. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks Cosmic Jane. Rush, thank, thank you, you for yeah. being on Art About. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having Love us. to be here, yeah. Thanks for having us, everybody. Really, just yeah. you guys have been great. And yep. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Sound guys, video guys, you guys were all awesome. And for those of you listening, if anyone uh, has any venues or gigs that they'd like to book us for, we are, we're always open to trying new things and trying new venues. So oh, great. Uh, our next gig's on November 23rd at Drift and Gloucester, yep. uh, 9 to midnight, and then we're playing again there on December 7th again. So it's Drift and Gloucester, and then we love playing at places. And we just, Getting around. Yeah. Oh That's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. This is Jen Campbell. It's been Art About, and I'm with Cosmic Rush. Thank you. <laughs>